Hi everyone. Uh, I've had a cold this past week, so uh, so I've been very well. Uh, I've got a bad cough at the moment. I've just had to redo do it because the coughing was just too bad. But so I'm going to make this as brief as I can. This is to do with house rules uh, for my Pathfinder game. I wanted to pull it up as a YouTube video. So anyone that is going to be a part of the, uh, end up being a part of the game will know the house rules through this video. Uh, just, just an idea that I had. Uh, and the first house rule would be to do with the uh, constitution. It's, uh, Sean Connors mentioned this and it was uh, basically to do with, uh, what, you know, when you go below zero. Uh, your dying point which is usually at minus 10 but for me I'm gonna do it half the con and probably round down so if it's a uh, if you've got a con of 10 uh, half of that will be 5 so you could go minus 5 if you hit minus 6 you're gonna you, you'll end up that character dead uh, that's the way I'm gonna uh, handle um, uh, that uh, in game uh, also disruptive play uh, you know being abusive towards people stuff like that uh, I mean if it's uh, if it's violence involved especially if uh, someone's gonna get attacked and that that person's just gonna be instantly dismissed from the group <coughs> <coughs> I just can't put up with anything like, <coughs> like that. <coughs> yeah, sorry. Um, but general disruptive play, I'll probably have a word with the people involved and see if things can get resolved. Uh, if not, um, uh, they'll probably end up being dispelled from the group if it's just going to keep on happening. I mean, there's only so many chances you could give someone. I'll probably talk to the other group members about it as well. <coughs> <coughs> also, disruptive play will uh, end up um, getting penalised with, uh, you know, you lose an experience in game as well. Something like I was thinking of a standard 100 uh, XP points or something. If it's a minor thing, I'll let it go. Uh, but if it's a repeated minor thing, then you're going to get penalised. Uh, I mean, probably small amounts. Uh, 50 points or something like that. <coughs> uh, <coughs> anything major is probably more than 100 XP. <coughs> um, if someone wants, uh, you know... Um <coughs> Oh, amend that, or you know, um, you know, give me advice on the uh, penalty and bonuses uh, to do with stuff like that. Uh, it would be a help, but that's what I'm thinking. Anyway, uh, it's uh, not that. It also that also include. <coughs> <coughs> I'm doing this while it's fresh in my memory because I could have waited a couple of days and you know uh, it wouldn't be as fresh in my memory so so I'm doing this it's, yeah sorry about the coffin but um, uh, metagaming uh, also will be penalised in the same way and also would have a word with that particular person about it as well because it's one of my real pet hates is metagaming and uh, I will end up penalising repeat offenders quite heavily on it because I really do dislike it a lot uh, you know or and also uh, uh, as another rule keeping uh, uh, character knowledge and player knowledge separate please don't mix the two <coughs> because I will pad a long stew on it. <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> like 10 minutes ago or so, uh, my coughing wasn't as bad. Now I'm doing this, it seems to be you're coughing my guts up. But never mind. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> 
There's another thing, he's uh, telling another player how to run his character or that you should be doing that or should be doing this. I'm not having that, I will put that up front now. It's down to the individual player on how they run their characters. You can make, you know, you can make suggestions, but it have to be out of play. You know, uh, uh, if you're going to make suggestions, actually, I'd rather have, prefer it to be in play as playing your character. Not, uh, you should be doing this uh, this way, or even telling the GM how to run the game, or, you know, you should be doing it this way because the previous GM did it. That was Zeb. It's not, it's not me. I'll run it the way I feel like I, sh I want to run it. Uh, so it, stuff like that is not on. It's, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's basically, you know, just telling people, look, uh, you should be, you should be doing this because otherwise this will happen. <coughs> It takes a fair bit of joy out of the game. <coughs> it's uh, also um, <coughs> my edit. It's a bit. <coughs> oh. yeah. Sorry. Um. Uh, it's pretty much bad form, really, um, that sort of stuff. I'd rather, uh, to do with a player, I'd rather them screw up, and sometimes screw up royally, because they learn from it. It's not that they ain't going to learn, they're going to learn from it. If there was a situation where they ended up getting the whole party killed, it's only a game, you could easily start again. And uh, to be to be honest, they learn from all that, all the mistakes they make. So I don't really want it in the game where uh, where you're literally doing stuff like that. It's just not fair on me. It's not fair on the other players. And you know, I'm not I haven't been happy with it with it going on in my game lately. So um, hopefully all this will be resolved. And, uh, you know, we can have an enjoyable game when I'm back up, actually, mid-March. I'm thinking on a restarting, uh, at least getting sub for a bit then. And then I'll have a move and then I'll be doing more. <coughs> uh, but, yeah, it's uh, it's all that sort of stuff, really. It's uh, A lot of it's just common sense stuff, to be honest. Uh like uh, being late, uh, if you're going to be late, fine, but make sure the guy who's running the game, like it would be probably, it's going to be me in mid-March, knows that you're going to be late. If you're going to be constantly late, you know, then we'll have to have words to see if we can resolve things, or actually just moving on, uh, uh, starting at a later time, like half hour later. You know, I, I'm flexible with things like that. And probably a group will be as well. You know, uh, but uh, <coughs> stuff like that. <coughs> it's not just arriving on, on, um, on time. A little bit early is fine as well. It's also, um, you know, turning up to gate. Uh, as in, you know, if you've got transport problems, yeah, fair enough. But then, I mean, I may do this fortnightly, yeah, uh, or weekly. I'm going to have worked with one of the members to see uh, how things go. Because I'm just not certain if it's going to be weekly or fortnightly, yeah. Uh, but uh, people that do have transport problems... Unless it's really ridiculous with the amount of buses and time it's going to take. Then you should be able to get a bus or, you know, at least hitch a lift from someone. Um, 
But if there's any major major problems like that, just make sure you tell the GM any major problems. Also, I would reward people, you know, for making things easier for players as well as the GM. And I'm thinking of, and I do this properly in a separate video, but uh, there is some I think the creator of Dungeons and Dragons um, came up with that uh, my mate Zaf was using, and that's player points. I'm considering put them in this current game coming up, uh, so it'd be sort of like a um, sort of like a player points where you could activate. Uh, Maybe 10% on the gold you recover for that adventure. As long as you say you're going to use up those points. Just before, you know, just for the game. Or uh, player points for other things. I'm going to do my own version on that. Keeping it as simple as I can. But I'm just going to run through a few things. Uh, just to see what I can do. As in just little rewards for the, uh, for the player. Or some, you know, player points sort of equivalent of a, uh, a uh, plus one on the dice. Once. You can use it once in play. Or even uh, have a failed result as a successful result. But only once during play. I'm thinking on those six. So a critical uh, might, uh, might not be a critical. Or, or you know, as, as, another, as another reward thing. Or, you know, failure as in it's a success or would be success. So I'm considering things like this for, for my game. Uh, let's see, any other takes I can... Uh, uh, come up with... To be honest, at the moment, those are the sort of uh, uh, house rules that I've got. It's not a hell of a lot at the moment. Uh, there'll probably be more added to it. Uh, the only other thing is to do with phones as well. If you've got to keep your phone on, fair enough. But if you can, I would like the phone switched off. There's nothing worse when you're in the middle of a dramatic scene and uh, the phone goes off. Somebody's phone goes off and it can, you know, um, ruin the pacing of a game a bit. But that I'm a little bit flexible uh, with. But uh, it was just disruptive play and stuff like that. I really wanted to cover it a bit and stuff. <coughs> and I'm sorry about the uh, coffin as well. Uh... So, uh, uh, also, uh, I wanted to know what your house rules for your games would be. Uh, probably a fair few of them would be similar to what I've put on here. But, uh, I really wanted to make this uh, this video um, this last week, but I've been too ill. I'm still ill now, but uh, I just wanted to do this when it's really fresh in my mind. I just feel I really did need to do this uh, to put up a house rule video. Then it's there. It's on film. Um, I can refer them to the video then and I'll probably put this in black and white as a group rules to be honest. Also people that are watching that is a part of my group <coughs> if they want to add to any of the house rules uh, please do. Uh, we'll probably uh, meet up before then uh, for a meeting to do with the uh, upcoming game and to do with you know any house rules they, they feel like they want to uh, uh, add to what I've already discussed, uh, and just thanks for Sean Connors for that, uh, for that, uh, idea uh, I've said at the start. I feel it'd be much better. <coughs> <coughs> okay, right, I'm gonna finish now because, uh, this, this cold and that, but really, honestly, thanks for everyone that do watch my videos. I'm up to 75 now. I know I lost a few subscribers for one reason or another. Uh, 
I'm pleased I've got to that amount. Honestly, I didn't think I'd get there, but I have. And hopefully the videos and things will uh, get better. And there's plenty more things to come. Role-playing videos. I'll be starting to do uh, uh, characters as well uh, as, uh, as uh, future videos as well. A wargaming side of things. There'll be terrain to show. There's loads of models to, to show at some point and things and projects and stuff. I've got a, a, a hopefully a, a shed to, to sort out and that, uh, uh, to, for a for the war gaming and maybe role playing side effects uh, uh, that to come up uh, after I move. So I've got a lot to look forward to and the opening of the shop eventually. And I hope I can get it open this year. I'm trying my hardest, but I'm in limbo because I can't wait for the money to come available before I can do anything. So I'm stuck other than, uh, you know, um, sorting out the uh, business plan and getting that done properly and fully uh, and to make sure it's done at a professional level. Uh, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time.